Hello everyone. Welcome to our instructional video on how to insert a Goodall's airway, also known as an oropharyngeal airway. This is a crucial skill for maintaining patient's airway in various medical situation and today we will walk you through the steps to ensure a safe and effective insertion. We have already uploaded two videos in our this basic life sport or BLS series and I hope you have already watched. We have covered infant and adult CPR and you must watch them uh, to have a comprehensive learning. Friends, Goodall's airway, it's a tubular device, basically device to keep the airway open by preventing the tongue from falling backwards and covering the airway or which would obstruct the breathing and it is typically used in unconscious unconscious patient patient is fully unconscious or is a deep deeply comatose and there is an inherent risk of uh, airway obstruction so the first step is you assess the need for the insertion of Goodall's airway or the oropharyngeal airway as i said this is typically indicated in an unconscious patient in which there is a no gag reflex. So a patient is unconscious, there is no gag reflex, then you can insert the Goodall's airway. It will keep the airway patent and prevent the tongue from falling. If the patient is semi-conscious or conscious, then uh, the nasopharyngeal, the NP airway is better because there will be no gag and that we will demonstrate in the subsequent videos. The next step will be to choose the correct size of the Goodall's airway. So if the method is simple that you simply measure the distance, you keep the Goodall's airway at the angle of mouth or angle of the jaw uh, and uh, the tip should reach to the ear lobule as being demonstrated. So the uh, size of the Goodall's airway is when it extends from the uh, angle of the mouth to the tip of the ear lobule. As I have discussed already in my previous videos on basic life support series. So in such kind of situation, always alert the basically emergency response team in the hospital setting or tell somebody to call the 911 or the emergency number so that the expert help reach to you in time. The technique for insertion of the Goodall's airway is that you ensure the airway is clean. I mean, there should not be any foreign body or it should not be uh, full of blood. Then you have to clean the mouth or you have to apply some suction. Then you open the mouth as I have discussed the technique of cross finger technique. You tilt the chill, uh, you uh, basically push the forehead of the uh, forehead of the patient back and uh, lift the uh, jaw and the chin upward that will open the airway then uh, basically uh, you are standing on the uh, side of the side uh, basically the heads uh, head end of the patient and uh, the tip of the goodall airway is looking up towards you then you insert it inside the mouth and uh, when it is inside it has passed the tongue then you rotate the a tip of the this uh, you rotate the whole Goodall's airway by 180 degree uh, as being demonstrated in this video and after you have rotated the Goodall's airway then you secure the airway you can tie it here you can fix with the help of tapes and uh, then you start the ventilation Do remember that a quick action can save a life and if you are interested in learning more, consider taking a certified CPR course. Now we will run the whole sequence in a continuous video. So the first, you measure the distance, basically assess the size of the goodal airway. As I said, it should reach from the corner of mouth to the uh, tip of the basically uh, ear, the ear lobule, that is the adequate length. Then the tip of the goodal airway, you are uh, looking towards you, you are standing on the head end of the patient. Then you rotate this goodal airway, airway by 20 degree. And after that, you secure it, then you start ventilating the patient. So it is a simple trick, friends. And uh, knowing it uh, may save the life. So all the medical students should be well aware of this technique. And I hope one day it will help to save a precious life. Do save this video in your phone library or somewhere else. It can help as an emergency guide. 
and as i said all these videos are also available on our app as a free videos so that they can act as a ready reference uh, the app is available for android and ios and the link for everything is given in the description of this video and the pinned comments so friends knowledge save lives master the basics and you will be prepared to make a difference in critical moments do download our app and thank you very much uh, if and if you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, do like the content, uh, share this with your friends and relatives and uh, hit the bell icon for all the future updates. Thank you very much. Happy learning.